Fashion Week, Spring 2007. Um, and LA Fashion Week is one of my personal favorites because the designers uh, are so good at making all of the season's trends wearable and accessible. And Elle is all about making these gigantic trends that everyone wants perfect for every day. Coraline is kind of a classic L.A. sweet feminine line. It's loosely based on a very modern version of the movie Pretty Baby. I thought she did a terrific camisole inspired like tops and just little jackets and it works for every day. I thought it was really exciting for Baby. It was much more sculptural than they've done in previous seasons. They're really open to new ideas and to changing sort of with their label with new people and kind of getting a new image. There's uh, lots of amazing pieces in this collection. It's a lot about silk. I mean, I would say 80% of the collection is pure silk. A lot of uh, crispy gazars, heavy organzas, taffetas, things that, that give volume, um, but at the same time epitomize luxury. It's nice to see that kind of the average girl can get in on the sculptural trend that we've been seeing without paying millions of dollars. Chan Lee stuck with a trend that we're going to see uh, for spring of a very neutral palette with a kind of a punch of black or white just to keep it fresh. The collection is clean, um, very subdued color, but yet uh, keep the shape, a very important shape. Accessories are still a very important part of our collection, so we always, it always reflect who we are. Rock and roll has always just been about freedom and uh, a license to be wild. You'll see a lot of glam, a lot of nods to all the different eras of music, you know, 70s, um, 80s, and, um, you know, you'll see a lot of glitter, a lot of animal prints. This show was really personal for me, and it was a, really a celebration of my love, my love affair with music and my husband. This was their first season on the runway, and I think Eric Hart, the designer, is really doing a terrific job. So it means to support my band, Suicide Club, basically, and it grew into something so much larger than that since then. Free thinkers, dreaming, living in the moment, challenging conventional thought, which is what Morphine Generation technically is all about. Some wonderful teas that were a little bit more artistic than the average tea. I think my favorite piece is this ghost dress I'm in. It's this really sheer nude silk chiffon dress. He also did several button-down shirt dresses, which is a big trend for spring. Um, it's a classic shape, but that we see kind of some quirks on the collar details. Well, I kind of call this nautical glamour. We did a, a lot of navy, a lot of white, hints of red and gold in there, faded seashells that look like vintage print and uh, aspired uh, into totes. Kept it tailored looking, uh, streamlined, a lot of monochromatic happening and a, and a little bit of cheekiness in there. I'm the spokesmodel for the line Metro 7. Make the street your own way. Love the clothes. I think it's great, very affordable. You can mix and match. Make it more for the night, more for the day, more casual, whatever you want. The theme for the fashion show is the, a dead forest that is brought back to life. You're going to see fairies coming out. The models are going to look like fairies. It's very native influenced. Um, a lot of aged metals and old wood kind of came from that. And it, it's just like, it looks like you picked it out of the forest. So I'm just trying to, you know, change my fabrics that I use in the collection and try to be natural and care about the environment, you know? My next car is going to be a hybrid, <laughs> so. I was on a trip to Prague this summer and fell in love with some paintings of Gustav Klimt that kind of revisited and Alphonse Mucha, some of the poster art, and both of them worship the softness and glamour of a woman. Our line firmly stands behind and I firmly believe uh, in women feeling good in their own skin and fem women just expressing their style through prints, through color, feeling great in what they're wearing. Elle has always been about mixing labels and going, you know, not head to toe one designer, but just mixing it all up. And the LA designers always produce wonderful denim, great tees, great separates to mix into that. And without these LA designers, we would be, we would be in suits the whole time and no one wants that. <laughs>